Yes, we did, Patches. We're running three walls. And I'm still testing them superior. Like, slimming up on... Like, we, we substituted the um, minister for the pontiff, although pontiff is so much better, but it was also, like, a tenth of our budget. <laughs> it was a tenth of the whole budget of the deck, uh, the pontiff. And the e-witness is only, like, a dollar. The superior is only, like, a dollar. Yeah. Yeah, we're rocking three walls now. And each of these are not cheap. The wall price on card hoarder is, like... It's about four. It's almost four tickets for one. Sponsors? That looks nice, dude. Although, what is that card? <laughs> Maybe you should go with something different. Why does it have wings? I'm confused. Also, what happened to our opponent? Kane! Alright, we'll come back to this match. Uh, we'll play somebody else in the meantime while Kane... I think Kane's lost connection probably what happened. Okay, we lost Kane. Kane! We lost Kane! No! Yeah, Scooz is 10 tickets. Collector asks, have I tried to combo Wilt Leash with Hakan? No, I haven't. We have Wilt Leashes, though, for this deck, and then we started cutting a lot of the white creatures. That made it so good. So I'm going to run Wilt Leaf with... with Hakan. It's the new fluster. Or is this like really close up and I just can't tell? Not, I mean, I like me some fluster. I don't know, it's like really zoomed in. Hang on. It's the other art, isn't it? Yeah, like when I think of fluster storm, I think of this. When I think of Fluster Storm, I think of this. Okay, you just reversed it. Okay, I can see it, like right here. No, there's anything wrong with Fluster Storm. I guess I just didn't recognize it that zoomed in. Uh, put the sponsors. Just don't have the logos. Uh, yeah, it's Card Hoarder and it's also NTGO. Um, and, sorry, MTG Card Market is my other sponsor. Which works out just fine. Not MTGO Card Market, excuse me. MTG Card Market because Card Hoarder is a digital. MTG Card Market is paper. And, uh, basically, there isn't any conflict. And I talked to, uh, the managers of both. And we're good to go. Actually, a bunch of the guys on the circuit are, uh, for example, those are Jeff's, some of Jeff's, uh, Sponsors. Actually, Jeff is the one that suggested I talk to Zach, talk, talk to Card Market. I don't know if we're going to get Kane back, but... Um... I still don't necessarily see what's going on between these two. I guess because she's a knight. Is that why... So you want me to get a Hakan into play and then not kill other creatures instead you want me to, or exile them while you want me to cast a Whitleaf Leash from the graveyard? That's not terrible. I don't hate that. 
We'd have to make more space in the deck. In fact, we might be over or under. Let's figure that out while we're waiting for the second opponent. By the way, if anybody wants to challenge us with the 100 ticket challenge, please do so. I'm looking for more opponents. I'm looking for more opponents. So let's uh, price this real quick. Yeah, I mean, if scavenging ooze wasn't so much, we could get one in this thing. This is the gifts deck. This was optimized. It is 97 ticks. We can play this in the tournament. I know a lot of you guys like this list. Ashen Rider, Ella, Shiona. Um, the Ashen Rider's in the sideboard, though. So let's clear that. Let's upload this list. Excess V says run a spell sky. You gotta price it, man. Spell sky is one of the more expensive things we could run. Okay, so Terrence says the 100 ticket challenge is just to build the best deck for 100 tickets. Sort of. So there's a couple other specifications. Let me show you. Not that I came up with these rules. This is the rules from Card Hoarder themselves. And you can find more information here at Tourney Info. Our Isaac wants to brawl. Okay, let's battle. Right, 15 would be a good chunk of the deck is the problem. Otherwise, I'd be for it. Oh, that was cute. Yeah. I mean, we're basically just splashing black. Like, we should be able to keep hands that have blue-white mana when we're playing the gifts deck. And then, it, in theory, the way that I've designed it, it should draw into that late-game um, black. So, No, I haven't tried the Blazing Archon. Well, they do very different things, though, Leko. Blazing Archon kind of serves the similar purpose. Serves a similar purpose. Um, they do similar things to some of the other threats I'm already running, whereas Ashen Rider is um, removing troublesome permanents, Aleko. I don't know if those are necessarily comparable. They do different things. I actually even trimmed a wall, didn't I, in the latest version? Which is ambitious. Hey, there it is. Watergrave. There you go. See? Yes, it's budget for the purpose of being able to play in the tournament, not necessarily because I enjoy playing budget, but it's nice. Some of you guys can use my budget lists if you're looking to play, get into modern, you know. They're good shells for starting. They're not good shells for uh, high-end competitive play, but they're a good shell to, like, get your foot in the door, I would say. And they all grow into other decks that we've been messing around with. Um, so they certainly can, can grow into something powerful. I think you're just dropping the spirits. Dropping the spirits. Not that I have anything against Blazing Archon, Aleko. I actually based this one off a gift deck that I built a long, long, long time ago. Back when I was first maybe getting into modern years and years and years ago. I kind of just was just like, oh yeah, I remember this deck. And then uh, messed around with it. Built just a cheapo Esper variant that we could take to the tournament. It does have to be 100 tickets or less. Now, I've built very expensive variants of gifts, you know, play sets of colonnades and sphinxes, revs, and all that good stuff. And it's it's fun. It's fun to play with expensive cards, too, or play with, like, greedy mana bases or, like, four colors. It is fun. But at the same time, I think that this right now is something that people are looking for. They're looking for budget lists that they can get into, and they're looking for... Um, geez, you must have really wanted to beat that Bogles player for main decking one of those. Um, yeah, I think I just want to get the spirits going. Let's get in for two and then shock ourselves flashback. Well, since we're but since it's budget a budget tournament, Aleko, I assume a lot of the creatures, a lot of the swarm decks we're going up against should be killed by Elish. We should be able to remove them with Elish Norn. So my thought is we shouldn't really have to need something as 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 specific as Archon. It's not bad, Severed. How are you? Alright, Tech Edge, take my Black Source? That's what I would do. Yeah. 
What's nice is we already played out a lot of the black. I mean, we played out the only black spell in my hand. The second half of the Lingering Souls. Well, in my graveyard, but you, you get what I'm saying. So to speak. We do have a basic swamp in this. If I need to, I can path myself. Um, do I want to do that? No. Kind of just want to get that spirit clock going. This is probably Flicker Wisp. Flicker Wisp isn't a great blocker for the spirit, so I don't think I want to just cash the path in on the Flicker just yet. Again, I could have pathed my own spirit token that he just went after there to grab the black source, but I'm going to hang on to this path for a little bit longer. Yes, the vials are quite good against my counter magic. I might cut some in the post-board games. Oh, nice, Severed. Would you play? Right, Aleka, we're, we don't think we're going to be facing Drowsy. But we might. I mean, like, just despite Nathaniel banning I doesn't mean people won't still try to jam Drowsy. Okay, so we can sphere the vials. That seems solid. And this is where I'm kicking myself that I didn't go for the path play. Is this another Flicker Wisp? Oh, Finks? Okay. Arbiter? Okay. I mean, you still want to take him off his vials. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I mean, like, as far as things that I'd like to path, it probably would be... If I did path anything here, it would probably be a Finx. Arbiter, we can block for a while. Yes, I'll have Ghost Quarters. Yes, that will suck. Especially this turn right here. Played Brego. Nice. Yeah, I'm sure he makes a solid general. All around flexible. Path me now. Unfortunately, we can't. Yeah, I mean, if there's anything you path here, it's probably Finks. If we do path. It's just like blue-black taxes. Or uh, white-black taxes, excuse me. twice. Okay. I kind of want to do it now just to maybe... Okay. I mean, maybe we get defensive here. Yeah, I think we have to, unfortunately. So we hang back, do some blocks, and if he plays more threats, we drop the nodes. I think you drop nodes now. For a, very, for a variety of reasons, if you did, obviously, we would be killing the spirits first. That's what Lingering Souls is good at. Going wide or blocking, trading with things. Does both. Tangle wire. Oh, is this Wisp on D Sphere? Interesting. Okay. Oh, nice. That's sweet. No, it's Flicker on Bajuka Bog to take the second half of my thing twice. I like that a lot. That's sweet. I'll probably still just play Poor Fury Notes. Stream. 